looks good, but it's a punch that's a short punch that you don't see much as the body punch so that lands that around, which is the most effective. And of course, often the crowd will ooh and da ah on punches that are completely blocked or partially blocked. And not only is blocked, but a lot of times that's what you press your hands up on a lot of those type punches also. Because you're landing more on your fingers instead of on the knuckles. Boyd has never complained about hand problems in his career. Marcus leaning against Floyd and trying to pound the weight of the body. Giving Mayweather the kind of chance he got in the last round when he knocked Vargas down with the body shot. But I think Gregorio looks like a punch. Good. There, there you go. Left hand with the body again by Mayweather. This is what I'm trying to watch for. Even though it's a gap, I have tried it every time I mean, I think his punches have to be more effective though. This is one of the few real exchanges I've seen Mayweather in in any fight. Prince George Scratchy Cougar Clocks, eleven dollars. Big Bad Barry Bullpen, fifty-eight dollars. Have fun. But Boya Vargas has hung in and tried to dish it out where he could against Floyd Mayweather Jr. And Mayweather has occasionally relished the chance to trade with Vargas and demonstrate his blinding hand speed. Harold Letterman still enthralled with the way Mayweather is fighting. Cruising to a big lead over Vargas, and we suspect that's true on the other two cards as well. Between rounds, a round and a half ago after Vargas was knocked down on a body shot from Mayweather, you heard Joe Goosa ask him, do you want to continue? Although Vargas has never been in any real serious trouble. There is uh, a welt along the right eye of Mayweather. I don't think I've seen him uh, with that sort of damage before. Mayweather's skills apparent on the double left hook moments ago, landing to the body and the head. Mayweather's boxing skills and speed right now is what's really winning the fight. And, and, and he, but he can't hurt Vargas as much as he would like. What would a Mayweather Corrales fight look like, Emmanuel? A uh, Mayweather Corrales fight would be a very interesting fight because Corrales is going to put tremendous pressure. And I don't know if Mayweather would be able to handle pressure coming from a tall fighter, which, which is up on top over him. And the fact that Corrales doesn't punch long punches where you can counter punch. He waits until he's right on you. And you normally have made your defense motions and he still hasn't punched. And when he does punch, it's going to be almost too close. Yeah, but one thing about uh, Corrales is he can be hit. He gets hit. He's open, he's open for some shots. And he'll get hit by Mayweather. I don't know that Mayweather can, can hurt him. But that's got to be a factor going the other way. Mayweather can hit him, but Mayweather's not that much of a devastating one-punch fighter. And that's, that's going to make a difference. I think Corrales is going to be a very tough fighter, in particular with his height. Of what we've seen in the last six months, you might suspect that Corrales is the harder puncher. Well, I don't, I don't suspect it. I think it's perfectly apparent. He stands flat-footed. He's right in there. He throws his punches correctly. Very short. That's good leverage on him. He commits to him. He wants to hurt the other guy. He doesn't want to outpoint him. To some degree, he's a version of Felix Trinidad. To some degree, the fact that being as tall as he is, he fights with his hands so high, and all of his punches are very accurate. Very little gap. Was that a, a Texas two-step round, or was it some other dance uh, I haven't heard of? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, I wanted to do that. Over the mouth. That's not it. Bring to the mouth. Give me a beat, let that flow. See the blue is stop already. Uh, we got four rounds to go. You got to do it now. Let's give him some water. It's not a scientific. It's a scientific. You just got to go. You just got to go. Okay? Boy, Vargas is a real professional. 
And although he himself admits that the highlight of his career has already happened years ago when he won a featherweight title, and that he is near retirement, he's fighting with, with the fierce pride of a profession. And it's got to be frustrating. He's in a situation where the speed, he goes, is too much for him and the steel. But he's doing all that he can to win the fight. And has never given up hope still. He's really making every effort that he can still to win this fight. And who knows what will happen later on in the fight. When you have a fight of this type, and the fact that he's getting closer to Mayweather now. Has he won a round yet, Harold? No, Jim. I got an 8 to nothing. 80 to 71 Floyd Mayweather. I tell you, Jim, you know, the judges look for four things, and he's the all four. Well, look at this, Harold. Maybe Vargas can win around here. As Mayweather elects to hold his hands in front of his face and allow Vargas to pound away at the rib cage and the elbows. Vargas trying to put Mayweather to the test along the ropes. Floyd looking to take a shot in here. Now, I expect Mayweather to expect Mayweather to explode after this himself. Uh, he's hoping to get Vargas to wear himself out. That's correct. Right here. Vargas gets in the left hook upstairs. Mayweather retaliates with a right uppercut. And there's a lead right hand and a right hand to the body by Vargas. And now here it comes. Vargas stopped throwing punches and Mayweather flurries. And now here comes Goyle. My goodness, a fight broke out. excitement I've ever seen in a Floyd Mayweather fight. Yes, it was. I've been drawing it as a fan. <laughs> Absolutely. So it it is made round. by Marcus's last stand, great but he's round. given us great something round. by which to judge Floyd. the willing enthusiasm of Agoya Vargas, who comes to work and tries to make a fight, go out of cost, turn, and forces Floyd Mayweather to be good. <laughs> I don't know if Vargas won that round, but I think it's going on general principle. Yes, you have to. I think Floyd, leaning over here, wanted me to know that it was he who's making the fight, and not Agoya Vargas. <laughs> You got it. You won it round. That was clear. You got the. It was only. Okay. Okay. He got it. Okay. He got it. Okay. Okay. He's got it. Okay. This is this is it. This is it. This is it. This is it. Here's Vargas. Throws a nice left hand over Mayweather's glove. This may be the last stand of a tough, smart, veteran fighter trying to get back into the fight or at least leave a few marks on Mayweather to know he's been in a fight. And something happened in, the, in Vargas's corner I should uh, bring your att attention to, which is that he told his corner that he was having some problems with his legs. He raised his legs to get a rub down. What do you think that means, Emmanuel? Well, that was a real brutal round, I'm you. I mean, I don't know what effect it may have had on the I think Mayweather, even though it was a mega round that he could have given to Vargas, I would say that the momentum should have been better for Mayweather because I thought that he fought a much smarter strategy by letting Vargas extend himself and open up afterwards. But, you know, the round could have been either way, but I think going down the stretch, I think that Vargas is going to tie, but who can tell? 
In round nine, they landed a combined 62 punches by CompuBox estimation, 60 of them power shots. I'd be surprised if you see another rally in the last three rounds by Vargas to match what he was able to do in round nine. And Mayweather back up and moving on his feet now as the 10th round progresses toward its midpoint. Which I think is smart because going down the stretch should work using my little fight if he's not that good with us because he's just tired. Well, Floyd certainly doesn't have to stand in the corner and trade shots with Gloria Vargas no, unless he wants to. No, he can box now. I think he's taking a lot of energy out of him. And I think his youth and speed will carry him down the stretch. He should finish up very strong now.